and we'll do that with a clustering properties quiz. Oh, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three different clustering algorithms. For each one, ask whether it has these properties. Does it have richness? Does it have scale and variance? Does it have consistency? And so the algorithms are all going to be variations of the first clustering algorithm we talked about, single link clustering. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run single link clustering, but to make it a clustering algorithm, we have to decide under what conditions are we going to stop building our clusters. And I've got three different conditions, and that defines our three different algorithms. So one is we've got n items that we're clustering. I'm going to stop when I've got n over 2 clusters. Okay, So just keep merging, keep building clusters until you've reached n over 2 clusters. And at that point, stop and return what you've got. Okay. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. All right. And you remember enough about single link clustering for that to be meaningful but that's it's where we're going to start off with everything in its own cluster and then merge them together uh, by whatever two clusters are closest together and then iterate yes okay all right so that's algorithm one we're going to stop it in over two clusters the second one is we're going to have some parameter theta and we're going to keep merging clusters until we'd have to merge clusters that are theta units apart and once they're theta units apart, we're going to say, nope, that's too far to be part of the same cluster. We're done. Okay. Okay. So that, again, it's a clustering algorithm, right? It's going to take these distances and it's going to turn it into groups. So that's like only things that are within 10 feet of each other could possibly be clustered. Exactly. Okay. Right. And theta is going to define that. And the last one is very, very similar. We're going to keep doing clusters until we'd have to merge clusters that are farther than theta over omega units apart. And omega, in this case, is going to be defined to be the largest pairwise distance over the entire data set. That's an omega? Yes. Okay. And that's a capital D. At least now it is. <laughs> okay. All right, good. So if you understand these algorithms, what, what I'd like you to do is say, which of these have the richness property? Which of them have scale and variance? Which of them have consistency?